Hi and welcome to my video on how to install a machine art avant-garde to a BMW R1200 RS. The first step is to put these little rubber grommets in these holes in this bracket. If you want you could put a little bit of lube on there to make it a bit easier. They are a little fiddly. There we go. Now having done that we're going to uh, bolt this aluminium bracket onto the back of the avant guard using these two little bolts supplied. You need a T25 Torx driver for these. Make sure you get them started straight, they have got a bit of thread lock on there. But you don't want to cross thread them. And then just nip them up, don't go too mad with them, and that's what it should look like. Next stage is to, we need to slacken off these two radiator cowling mounting bolts here. This is going to zoom in a bit so you can kind of see them. So all we need to do is back these out, there that's better, back these out about four turns just so we can slip the avant-garde up in the back behind the radiator. You need the T25 Torx driver. And we're just going to back them off four turns each. Don't need to take them out. It's just so you can get the avant guard up behind the radiator. So just to show you what I mean, that's the screw that I loosened off and you can see this is the radiator fan, this is the radiator and all we need to do is be able to push that back, the same both sides and the avant-garde just slips up behind there. And Just before we offer the avant-garde up to the bike, I'm just going to pop these bolts just into the rubber grommets, not poking all the way through, but just so that they will hold there, just so they're ready to screw up into place when you fit it. And just to show you where these two holes are underneath the engine, that hole there and that hole there, that's where your 13mm bolts are going to go. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to push back with my finger on this screw, just to push the fan cowling back and then I'm going to slide the avant-garde up. And just to show you, there's the avant-garde, that's my fan cowling, and you can see that's in the right position now. Just make sure both sides that it's in the correct position. Make sure you start these bolts by hand first, you don't want to cross thread them. You need a 13mm socket, and then you do these up first before you do the top ones up. So do them up evenly. I'm going to snug these up. And then finally, all that's left to do is to redo up these two uh, T25s for the rad cowling and rad fan. And this will sandwich the avant garde in between the two. And just nip those up. So as you can see this is the avant-garde here and I've got it as per the instructions sandwiched between the radiator fan and the back of the radiator, not the rad cover and that's what it looks like when it's on. As you can see the front of the engine is quite well protected now, I would hate to think how much it would cost to repaint this front engine cover and as you can see it's also got 
It flares out a bit here just to protect your downpipes from uh, stones flicking up and whatnot. Um, I mean, to be honest with you, it's quite an expensive bit of plastic, um, but I wanted the best thing to protect the front of this bike, and I think that's it. Anyway, as usual, thanks for watching. Hope you found this video useful, and until next time, goodbye.